I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. And I'm glad that you're here. Merry Christmas, guys, and happy holidays. Today, I'm here to do the gifts of reading book tag. I first saw this on Sean the Book Maniac's um, booktube channel, and I will link his video below, which links to the original video where he was tagged. He did not tag me. I just liked the tag. I thought it is very, very appropriate for this time of the year. And so I decided to do it for you guys. As per usual, questions on paper, and I'm going to be reading them out and answering them. This is a very short and sweet tag. So make sure you stay and watch till the end. So the first one is, what is your favorite book to give as a gift? I don't have one. I just ask the person for their wish list or I ask them what book they want and I gift it to them. But if I really had to choose one book, then I would gift either The Happiness Project or Better Than Before by Gretchen Rubin. These are self-help books, but they're not preachy. They just talk about self-improvement and building better habits in life, which I think will not hurt anyone, which I don't think will offend them, and which I think will help them build a better life. Did I just say help? I meant help. Help them build a better life. Question two. What is a memorable book you have received as a gift? Okay, so my birthday just passed and I got a lot of books. And more than the books themselves, what was memorable was things like opening a present and discovering that this friend had sent me this, that friend had sent me that, this person was thinking that I need to finish this trilogy and so they gifted me the next two books. It's these feelings, these emotions, this happiness that is memorable and not just the books. Question three is, have you discovered an author you love through a gift? Mm, sort of. I think my mom introduced me to Enid Blyton and I know she is a problematic author. And as research has passed, we have discovered that her work is not the greatest. But I was gifted a lot of her books by my mother and by my aunt. And I really, really loved them. And so, yeah, I think I discovered In Blyton through gifts. Um, and her Mallory Towers and St. Clair series. When I was in school, I really, really identified with those. I longed to go to boarding school. So again, I have very, very good memories attached to these books and to the gifting, but not to the exact books themselves. Question four, if a friend gives you a gift, do you feel compelled to read it? Sort of, because they've given it to you and what if they ask you like, oh, what did you think of the book? But then, you know, my close friends, they know to ask me, what do you want? Or do you want this book? Or which book do you want for X occasion, um, birthday, anniversary, whatever. Like everybody in my friends and family circle knows that I will send them a link with my wish list or with a specific book on it and be like, buy this. The last question is, what is a book on your Christmas wish list? Now, I don't celebrate Christmas. But every book lover has a wish list, okay? And I have one and I'm going to link it below so that you guys can check it out. There is no compulsion to get me anything. But because I wanted to show you my wish list, I am linking it below. That's it. That is the very short and sweet gifts of reading tag. I hope that you people watching will consider doing this tag. Even if you're not a booktuber, do it on Instagram. Answer the questions in my comment section. Because these are such pertinent, relevant, sweet questions. And I really want to know what you guys think. Also, what book is on your Christmas wish list or on your wish list in general? The one that you want the most? Let me know in the comments below, okay? Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. Once again, happy holidays. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.